Hi, yeah, gonna run you through some matches from this week. Um, had a nice little three days fishing. I've been to Lindome Lakes on Thursday. It was absolutely freezing. Blew a gale. So much so that I thought I might need two brollies. Uh, so I set myself up a bit of a base camp. And when you go carp fishing and it's cold and it's very windy, for me, it's an out and out tip job. So I set up a banjo feeder and I set up a bomb. Quite interesting how I set up my bomb. I use an inline Olivet, so it's just a small weight. Because it was windy, I used 10 gram. I know that you think if it's windy, then surely it doesn't matter about a big heavy bomb crashing in. And, and it might not do, but it gives me a lot of confidence when I'm fishing for these small carp on heavily pressured venues to chuck in something small that makes a nice little plop nothing to crash bang wallop i've had 10 fish throughout the day and three of those have come as the feet as the bombs hit the water would i caught those three of the big heavy bomb maybe i would but it's given me a lot of confidence so i'm happy to use it so i just use an inline olivet running down to a a, a bead quick change bead and i change between fishing bread on a short hook length and a longer hook length for, with corn and pellets for, uh, you know, just to change bait. I caught a few on bread, but I caught well on corn and pellet as well. Uh, I don't really think the bait made a big deal of difference. It was more about finding the fish. And I caught from three different spots. Um, amazingly, one of them, I know it's shallow where I was casting. So even though it was really cold, there was a few there. My 10 fish went 25 pound and won the match. Um, only just Alan Scott and I had three fish thought I'd easily beaten him uh, it was the other side of the lake to me but when he's told me I had three fish I thought oh that, that's okay but his three fish went £21 so uh, I just just managed to win so I was, that was nice to win the match on Thursday Not, I'm enjoying doing a little bit of carp fishing uh, on a Thursday it just keeps things uh, a bit different and then Saturday I had the Census Challenge match, so Bloodworm weekend, Census Challenge Saturday, and the first teams of three on the Staney on Sunday. Census Challenge was a bit of a washout for me, really. Uh, drew next to my good friend, Matt Godfrey. Um, I love drawing next to someone like Matt. You know, I consider him to be one of the best anglers in the country, so you're always going to have a battle on your hands. I love being in a battle against top anglers, anyone who is... When it's really competitive, lots of great anglers out there. And, uh, you know, you don't win them all. That's just the way it goes. I've certainly won my fair share in the past, uh, you know, and, and in recent times. And unfortunately, this week, he got the better of me. Uh, I've had eight pound, eight pound, eight and a bit pound. I can't, can't remember the exact answers, if I'm being exact. And uh, Matt had ten pound. Um... It was uh, an interesting battle. The disappointing thing was my peg was frozen at the start uh, and I had to clear all the ice out. And the ice stayed there for quite a while. And it cleared to where Matt was to my right. And I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but after two hours, I'd only had a couple of fish, a handful of fish, Max. And, and, and Matt had been catching quite consistently for an hour, as had most of the other people on the lake. And just where I was, we just weren't catching anything. And then a few fish turned up later on, and I was always playing catch up. And I caught up to a, a last hour I caught really well and, and sort of came back to within a couple of pounds. So I wasn't too disappointed, but I just felt like it wasn't really the best of fishing matches for me. I took it steady on a longer pole. Maybe I should have been a bit more aggressive because the fish never came short at all because I was quite aggressive shorter, expecting roach to come onto my shorter pole, but they never turned up. So maybe in hindsight, a bit of a different approach long would have been uh, good. It's worth a note, Alan Scott won the match. He had 17 pound of roach. At a, a, a really good performance. There wasn't any big weights caught in his section. I think nine pound was second, 13 pound was second in the match. So, you know, you can see how well he's done um, to catch 17 pound there, a really good performance um, from a top angler, which made it all the much harder when I drew next to him on the Sunday. Uh, really good mates of Alan. And, you know, you can see there how good he is when he's catching a weight like that. So again, it's just, 
you know, how how close can I get? Can I beat him? You know, um, Alan's beat me plenty of times, and I've also beat Alan, you know, a few times now. So it's always a good battle. To top make it even more interesting, we had Matt Godfrey further down. Um, so you know, there was plenty of good anglers, but it's a team to three league, and Matt's in my team along with Tom Scully. So we're all, you know, for us it's a bloodworm attack at the moment. It's cold, there's a few roaches to catch. There is fish to be caught on hemp and casters, but it's not quite where we're strongest, so we're happy to fish with bloodworm. Um, I had a really good match, caught straight away, caught bloodworm fish, was on 260 on the flats, which is a nice bit. Loads of nice roach, it was nice. It was cold, but it was still, and you could really fish well for them, which I think is really important. Uh, you know, when you're fishing with Bloodworm and Joker, presentation's important, feeding's important, and when it is blowing a gale, it does make that harder. But I had a really nice match until about the fourth hour, and then in the fourth hour, the fish just deserted. Myself, uh, Paul Slack on my left, Oliver on his left, and Alan on my right. We just sat there for an hour, and it was very difficult, odd fish. Further down, they were catching fish still all the time. Um, and you know it, it, it made for an interesting battle I've had a big perch um, in that sort of uh, period about a pound maybe a pound and a quarter and I felt that might have just given me the edge on Alan we were pretty much fish for fish all day and then uh, the fish have come back for us last 30 minutes and we both knew it was important and we've had a really good battle Alan's weighed 14 uh, nine in that area and I've weighed 15 nine I think I had a pound more than him so you know I, I was pleased to beat him but I was a bit lucky because I had the uh, the big perch but you know if you're there or thereabouts with someone of his caliber it was really you know I could walk away off the bank happy and I actually put me third in the match Matt was second with 16 pound and Chris Greensides won the match with an impressive 16 12 off the MPEG 170 he's caught some skimmers and some bigger fish on casters, which does show that there's some bigger fish still to be caught. On the team front, we had a great day because Tom had nine pound. So my team of three actually won the day with just ounces short of 42 pound, which puts us in a really strong position. So great start to the league. I'd love to win that league. Uh, I've been very fortunate to win, you know, pairs leagues, individual leagues, and the Stanley before. First year of teams of three last year. Um, did win a team to three a few years ago actually but it would be great to win with Matt and Tom so uh, there's a long way to go there were some really tough areas you couldn't have caught those weights that we caught everywhere there was some tougher areas where they were catching sort of six seven eight pound and even like one area that was poor and they were catching two and three and four pounds so it's going to be an interesting league over the course of five matches hopefully it'll even itself out so very interesting, very interesting fishing, very competitive fishing, which is what I love. We've got some competitive matches this week, again at Messingham for the pole pairs. So just love fishing against great anglers. Um, Going to win a few and lose a few as you've seen this weekend. So, uh, you know, hope you're catching a few fish. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to blog next week for Messingham, then have a little bit of a break over Christmas. So, uh, you know, get out there while you can because the weather's still all right. I think it's getting milder later in the week, so there might be a few bigger fish feed, so keep your eye on that one. All right, catch you later. Bye.